Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dreda D. Rose report. Uh, of course, I'm sure you got all the news on Jack Swagger and his uh, arrest the other night, which they got him also on some pot, but all of them are misdemeanor charges, so it's, it's well, it's a it's big deal to his job, but uh, they'll narrow it down to one, maybe one speeding ticket uh, instead of... Uh, you know, the pot thing, because one of these days we're all going to be walking around out in the street stoned anyway and getting hit by cars, and it's all going to be legal one of these days, soon, probably. So, nah. but I know WWE in their uh, wellness uh, deal has, if they got, you know, cannabis in their uh, system or something like that, I believe uh, the first time is like maybe $1,000 or $500. I forget what the prices are. Second time is either thousand or twenty five hundred, but they've been finding you up the third time, and I think after three, uh, you might be a little out of luck there. But uh, they haven't found any in his system yet, so I don't know whether they're going to be testing him, uh, you know, right away or not. So we'll see how that works out. But I kind of got a feeling he'll be all right. Uh, he may get uh, his little hands slapped big time. All right, no confirm uh, word yet on what kind of actions. Like I said, uh, you know, if any WWE is going to take on his arrest, uh, the only thing we've heard or I've heard that uh, they're considering some booking changes, which uh, uh, can't be good. But uh, he could just drop. They never, you never know. Could just pull him off of WrestleMania. I, I don't know. I really don't think they should. But, uh, uh, but anyway, people close, by the way, to Steve Austin believe that uh, he will never wrestle again. If Austin's going to for one more match, it would most likely be at WrestleMania 30 uh, in 2014 uh, because he's going to be 49 years old. But as, as I mentioned the other day, there was a the Japanese wrestler going out one more time, 75 years old. Austin, watch that. Hey, you could have 25 more years of wrestling left. Uh, I don't know what kind of match it'll be, but you could probably time it with a calendar. But uh, anyway, he's going out 75. That's good. Uh, the, oh, by the way, the 2013 Hall of Fame ceremonies have been sold out by Ticketmaster. No tickets are left, but more is expected to be released as the production event finalizes because they usually move things around, put some extra seats in. And by the way, WWE pays their Hall of Famers $5,000 and their inductors $2,500. I wish I could induct about uh, 10 people. Be kind of nice. Hey, uh, Cindy Lopner has been uh, under consideration for induction in 2013 Hall of Fame. I don't think they mentioned anybody last uh, Monday, did they? But anyway, Lopner's induction obviously won't happen if another celebrity gets discussed again earlier, uh, like they did earlier this year, would be Donald Trump. One celebrity per year, that's all we, we can do. And at one point, Trump was scheduled to be announced for uh, this year's Hall of Fame on February 18th, but uh, for some reason, don't know whether it was Trump's scheduling conflict or what, but it didn't happen. And there is talk in WWE about how creative uh, is handling the Dolph Ziggler push. Uh, while he you know, wins strong over Randy Orton at the Survivor Series, John Cena at TLC, and he's constantly losing on television. Don't know why they do that to people. Uh, and he's still in line for a world heavyweight title run, but the momentum that he had at the end of 2002, uh, 12, kind of stalled out. Uh, WWE's writing team, they've been under uh, considered, they are th they're considered they're in a rut. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I would say it just sucks. Anyway, they're in a rut with a lot of uh, disagreements and policies being played out. Uh, recent flip-flopping on you know Team Road Scholars uh, breakup is uh, seen as one poor example of planning and lack of commitment to storylines because uh, they really wasn't together all that long, and then all at once they'll put them together again for another match like they're, it's a reunion, yet they was apart for a week. Uh, many of WWE top superstars, believe it or not, The Rock, CM Punk, John Cena, and others are pitching their own storylines and ideas and uh, not relying on creative to uh, direct their characters. I believe a wrestler doesn't have people wrestling for him, and I believe a character, a storyline, or whatever should be that character's storyline, and he should come up with it. Let's get the whole you know ball of wax in one person. Either you're a good wrestler, you're a good uh, storyline uh, creative person, you need both. Let them run with it. 
And there's some people that need help. Anyway, Rock had been off television, uh, will be off of television for a few weeks as he's currently in um, uh, Panama uh, filming his new TNT reality competition show, The Hero. And uh, he's booked for the following Raw events, though, maybe coming your way. Uh, March 4th, Buffalo, uh, New York. March uh, 25th, Pennsylvania. April Fool's Day, Washington, D.C. Uh, that's the week before WrestleMania. And, of course, uh, April 8th, uh, Eth's brother night of uh, WrestleMania. Uh, after the post-WrestleMania uh, 29 Raw, Rock will be headed to Hungary and, and Croatia to film Hercules. Project he had started, um, or stated in interviews, is uh, very important to him. Do you think Her Hercules is going to be bald? Uh, the Rock has been uh, preparing for the soul, uh, or for the role of Hercules for close to a year, uh, which is why he's so, supposedly so muscular right now. I mean, it's not by accident. He's doing it for the role. Uh, since filming uh, for Hercules began, or begins right after WrestleMania, his physical training and physique will be peaking at that time. It ain't peaked now? Man. All right, now we got some flip-flopping here. Following WWE's recent uh, statement that they will no longer be paying for Tammy Lynn Cinch or Sonny's rehab, the former diva wrote the company an apology letter. Oh, she took responsibility for her negative comments uh, that she made about WWE during a recent interview, but said that her comments were uh, made out of anger and frustration, and when she's not taking her prescribed medications, that's what happens. She just slaps her boyfriend around and bitches about WWE. She said instead of accepting her own shortcomings, um, she projected her anger into WWE. She also admitted that the, for one reason WWE uh, switched her to a, a different treatment program was because the first facility recommended uh, the move and the second facility was very different as, uh, and as comfortable which made her very angry. It was very different and as comfortable. Don't know what that means. You know you're really supposed to be comforted there. Hey, Vince McMahon, believe it or not, not only us. Vince McMahon, he's tired of Cena versus Punk feud. So their match on next week's Raw will be the last time they uh, cross paths for a while. Rock has been nominated for the best male butt kicker. At the 2013 Nickelodeon Cho a Kids' Choice Awards, which is going to be airing March 28th, please make a note of it. WWE superstars and executives, Triple H. Uh, he's been nominated for the most medal athlete at the 2013 Revolver Gold Gods Awards, which takes place uh, May 2nd. It's going to be hosted by Chris Jericho. What Triple H has done, become a golden god and get that award for it? I really don't know. They only had one match last year. A few run-ins, maybe. Anyway, Ryback, believe it or not, heel turn has been teased lately with uh, him losing to several high-profile matches of walking out on his team at the Elimination Chamber. If WWE uh, does go uh, through with the heel turn, it would uh, lead it to a John Cena versus Ryback program after WrestleMania. While Cena could certainly benefit from the fresh uh, monster heel uh, to play off of, Ryback uh, is somewhat limited in ring and losing uh, the crowd support would hurt his character a lot. So whether that happens or not, we don't know. If he's selling a lot of t-shirts as a uh, face, they need the money, don't they? So we'll probably just keep seeing him as a face for a while. WWE is holding a diva search. I'm getting ready to go. It's going to be in Los Angeles, California this week. Uh, the event's not open to the public, and WWE is having modeling agencies bring in attractive, young, athletic ladies to be evaluated. Being a wrestling fan is a plus, but wrestling training is not required. <laughs> yeah, I qualify. Anyway, The Shield, believe it or not, is getting rave reviews uh, behind the scenes at WWE, which uh, shouldn't be a surprise, I guess, all three members of, uh, uh, are having a breakout potential with the uh, Reigns having in the look and intensity of a top tier guy. Rollins being a great worker and Ambrose uh, having the it factor uh, sets uh, you know him apart from everybody else. Ambrose has been uh, compared to modern day Terry Funk with a 
which is a strong compliment, by the way. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, plan main event for WrestleMania 30 next uh, April. Next April from New Orleans is The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman alluded to the uh, blockbuster match on Twitter this week, and he's writing, as I hear The Rock has committed to WrestleMania 30, and boy, do I have an opponent for him. Yeah, he does. All right, and most likely, maybe the Hercules movie will be coming out around then, too. WWE's purposely uh, keeping Brock and The Rock away from each other, uh, you know, as best they can, although uh, they will both uh, be on Raw together the week before WrestleMania 29. Maybe that'll start something, huh? Maybe Brock will do a run-in on uh, Rock. Hey, the all-time attendance record for the Mercedes-Benz uh, Superdome is 78,344 for the 1997 Sugar Bowl game. However, the building has been reconfigured since, and uh, sellout for the New Orleans Saint football team is 73,209. For a WrestleMania, since there's so much of the stadium is going to be blocked off for the stage and other production equipment, more than uh, what the, you know makes up the, having a seat on the field, is a legitimate estimated crowd of fans that they can accommodate should be around 65,000 fans. WWE typically uh, exaggerates the WrestleMania attendance uh, upon uh, maybe up to 10,000 to announce that they have broken the venue's all-time record. Oh, exaggeration? No, hell no. And superstar promoter, let's see, where, where am I at here? Well, uh-oh, uh, WWE Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett's going to be at the Hollywood premiere of WWE Studios' uh, Dead Man Down on Tuesday. And, oh, hang on a second. Let me get this thing in. Let's see. Ah, hang on. I don't know who it is. All right, I'm black. I'm back. WWE, uh, they're going to be taping three more episodes of NXT from Full Sail University, Winter Park, Florida. Randy Orton is going to be featured superstar along uh, the Divas, some of the Divas, and Jim Ross. One star won't be there, Big E Langston. He's been overseas on the main roster right now with WWE. And uh, Diva champion Caitlin revealed on Twitter that she's going to be doing um, the NXT TV tapings, uh, I guess, tonight. And... <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay, let's try this again. No confirmed uh, actions, like I said, of any kind on Jack Swagger about his rest on Tuesday. The only thing, uh, uh, well, like I said, that we've seen was the booking changes, but uh, I don't know if they're going to redo the booking for WrestleMania or not. So I, you know, it's getting kind of late in the game, but I don't think they ought to. Yes, with it. Oh, all right. Anyway, um, happy birthday to current current WWE wrestler Brodus Clay. Man, big old sucker's only 33. One time WWE Intercontinental Champion Carlito, uh, 34. One time Mexican light heavyweight Don Carreras, uh, 62. And former uh, United Kingdom regular Harry Mills, 25. Current. Uh, NXT Tag Team Champion Oliver Gray, 26, one-time TNA Tag Team Champion Crimson, 28, and Shakira Regular Sugar Dunkerton, 29, Dunkerton. And also, this would have been the birthday of one-time WWF Women's Champion Ronda Singh, 52, or we know her better by Bertha Faye. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.